Well, the big story of the day is that big old cold front that's coming in. It's going to leave us with a very, very chilly weekend. Yeah, definitely want to be prepared for this because it's warm right now, but it will not be as we go through midday and especially by later this afternoon. Those temperatures will keep dropping as we head throughout the day behind that front. So but in Tulsa, I've got us at 72 degrees, still at around 8 o'clock, but then dropping into the low 50s. By late afternoon, a lot of clouds with that, and we may get a few showers like right when that front moves on through. And we'll get a look at that here in just a second. But you can see uh, wind north at about 10 to 20 miles per hour through the afternoon hours, ushering in that chillier air. Now, here's what it looks like on dual Doppler with the showers right along that frontal boundary. So that's our front right there. It's providing a little bit of lift to the atmosphere. If you step outside here across eastern portions of the area or eastern portions of Oklahoma, you you're going to feel some of that mugginess. You're going to feel that moisture in the air. So again, as that front hits that, we get a little bit of lift and there we go. We get a few showers to pop up, not expecting anything extremely heavy with that. But as we go through nine o'clock or so, we will have that chance of a few showers here. Just a few spotty showers, basically right when that front moves on through from nine o'clock to one o'clock, we'll push that shower chance farther to the south and to the east. And then from one o'clock to five o'clock this afternoon, mainly southeastern areas will have that shower chance as the front continues to push southeast across the area. Don't expect a lot of rain with that, but right when that front moves through, you may have a few showers even out ahead of it. We've had some patchy drizzle out there this morning as we continue through the evening hours. Whatever your plans are for your Friday evening plans or perhaps a high school football action. We've got chilly temperatures in the forecast, just gradually dropping into the 40s. It'll feel colder with that north breeze at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's the view though out there right now. This is from the Wade's RV Weather Camera Network from Brookside looking back toward downtown Tulsa. You can see the low clouds overhead and that moisture, that mugginess that's in the air. You can feel it as you're heading outdoors, but the cold front's going to win out and behind this front temperatures will just be dropping across the state as we go through the afternoon. So we're going to be in the colder side of this front even as we head into the weekend. This front's going to stall out here to the south. Now this particular model is actually trying to lift it back to the north, but I think it's going to struggle to do that. A lot of times computer models will try to do that, but cold air is heavy. It's dense. It's hard to move once it gets in place. So we're going to stay in the colder air, no doubt through the upcoming weekend, but we'll get a lot of moisture to come up from the south and run over the top of that cold air and that creates rain. It also can create thunderstorms. So even though we're going to be chilly, we're going to have chances of showers and storms both Saturday and Sunday until the system can finally move on out and some of this rain could be heavy as well. For those of you here to the south and east, Stigler, McAllister, where we had some of the heaviest rain over the last uh, 24 to 48 hours, you could get another two to four inches on top of what we have seen and lighter amounts, half inch to an inch and a half farther to the north and to the west. So it's going to be a cold weekend with the rain chances. 41 on Saturday, looking at our first freezes as we head into early next week and a chilly Halloween for trick-or-treating.